one dollar bill. Also called an ace, a clam, a single, a one, or a buck. Believe it or not, this bill contains a lot more information than you might think. Let's take a closer look. On the inverse side, there is a portrait of our first president, George Washington. His portrait started appearing on the one dollar bill in 1869. Prior to that, it was Treasury Secretary Salmon P. Chase's face that had this honor. The letter inside the Federal Reserve District seal tells you which one of the 12 Federal Reserve Banks printed the bill. There are 12 Federal Reserve Banks in the U.S., and each one has its own letter designator. This particular bill, with the letter C, was printed in the District of Philadelphia. The sequence of numbers under the seal is the bill's serial number, which starts with a prefix and ends with a suffix. The serial number also appears on the upper right side of the bill. Moving on, a couple of signatures, the Treasurer of the United States and the Secretary of the Treasury. This letter and number indicate the position of the note on the 32nd subject faceplate from which it was printed. And that's the serial number on the plate on which the note was printed. Sort of like a birth certificate. This date refers to the year the design of the note was created. The date 1789 is the date the Treasury Department was created. We're done with the George Washington side. We move on to the other side, also called the reverse. This intricate design is the Great Seal of the United States, featuring the American Eagle. The Eagle is holding in its right talon an olive branch of 13 leaves and 13 olives, symbolizing peace. In the left talon are 13 arrows, representing 13 colonies fight for freedom. In the Eagle's beak inscribed in Latin, it prulibus unum, which is Latin for one out of many in reference to the 13 colonies. We're not done with the number 13. There are 13 stars over the Eagle's head, standing for, you guessed it, the original 13 colonies. The left side features a pyramid. The shape is supposed to represent permanence and strength. You'll notice it's unfinished to show that we are still growing as a country. The eye on top, also called the eye of providence, illustrates the spiritual over the material. And just under in Latin again, novus ordo seclurum, which means a new order of the ages. Above the big one in God we trust, the official motto of the U.S. since 1956. It's amazing to think how much U.S. history is packed into the $1 bill.